I'm going to show you how to use the logger to read your phone in case you get a code error with one of our codes. Okay, first thing, download all the files and extract them to a folder where you'll find them, um, perhaps on your desktop. Once you've extracted the files, the folder that they're in should be named bberry. Um, you can see this is the folder bberry. Okay, now inside here there's the bberry reader and there's a few DLL files and there's this program that says run first. That's what you want to do first. Just click on that and run that first. Okay, it should prompt you with a message that says DLL register server in rimradiocom.dll succeeded. Okay, so that means it's installed the DLL files that it needs to run. Okay, the next thing you do, you can see there's XP instructions here. Vista instructions here, so open that file and follow those instructions to go along with this video. Okay, next thing you want to do is open up your device manager on your computer and make sure that your drivers are installed. If they're installed, you'll see it says RIM virtual serial port or something similar that says RIM under the ports tab in your device manager. As long as you see those, then you know your drivers are installed. If your drivers are not installed, you need to download BlackBerry Desktop Manager and install the drivers from that. If you install the BlackBerry Desktop Manager, that will put the drivers on your computer. And if you look in the instructions, there's a link right here. It says you can download here bbdesktop.zip. So you can download that by following the link in your instructions if you don't have it. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is click on the program. Now, if the if you get a message that says something like uh, .NET Framework not installed or you must have .NET Framework, then first you'll need to download and install .NET Framework. If you look back in your instructions, there's a link right here. It says download it here. Unlocktotalk.com uh, forward slash .NET .zip. So install .NET Framework. Uh, your computer has to have .NET Framework installed on it for the logger to be able to work. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed .NET Framework and you clicked on the Run First program, <coughs> next thing you're going to do is just click on the Beeberry Reader. See that? <clears throat> that pulled up the program. It says, please connect phone and wait till the get info button becomes available. Okay, so I'm going to plug in this phone. Right now I've got a BlackBerry 8830. If your drivers are installed properly, it will pull up and give you some information right here about the phone. Okay, now that's not all we need. We also need you to click on this get info button. So click on get info and it's going to pull up a bunch of information about the phone. What you need to do is just scroll over all of this information. Do control C. That will copy it. <clears throat> and then do control V to paste it into an email and email that information to code at unlock to talk.com. Okay. Now if you've done all of that, if you've installed .NET Framework and done the run first program, and it still doesn't work, then what you need to do is copy all of the DLL files. These are the files <clears throat> right here, the DLL files. Copy all four of those. What you can do is you can view this as a list. And scroll over all of those. And then do control C. And once you've got those copied, you need to go into C, Windows, System 32, and paste all of the files into System 32. Then it should work. And if it doesn't work at that point, then you probably have some computer problems you need to try a different computer. Um, if you can't get it to work at all, you could always e uh, 
mail the phone to us to unlock to talk um, or send us an email if you have any other problems with the logger but that should work to get the information we need in order to get you a correction for your unlock code uh, visit unlock2talk.com thank you